Hello, this is Heather Van Wild with Raindrop Works, giving you a quick tutorial on how to set up the recap system to help people with uh, using PACER to gather court documents for public consumption. At the core, PACER is the federal court docket documentation system where attorneys and the general public can view documents. The, period, uh, the problem that we have, though, is that they charge $0.10 cents per page, up to 30 pages per document that is downloaded. And when you have a court case such as one of the ones that we're working on right now that has over 150 line items in it, each one a minimum of 10 pages, that gets to be very expensive very quickly. However, there are a few programs that help us. First off, PACER has a program where if you only use $30 or less of the services in a calendar quarter, they will waive all the fees. As soon as you go to $30.10, they'll charge you the whole amount. So keeping it under the $30 is important. The other thing that we have is the recap project. It turns PACER into a community funded program where anybody who has recap set up and downloads a document through PACER, it will automatically be shared to recap and then anybody out there can view it. So the first thing that we need to do is setting up a PACER account. I'll have links in the video description for everything that needs to happen. First off, we'll go to PACER's registration wizard because we're not trying to actually file anything, we just want to view documentation. Okay. Uh, and they do have a training site that you can use to get an idea of how the system works. We'll just go ahead and continue. Now at this point, um, they'll go ahead and fill in our personal information. Um, I would probably not recommend trying to use a dummy name because you know, this is a official government website and that could be considered fraud. Now that being said I have permission to use a particular person's information so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in but I'll skip ahead in the video so you don't have to see that. Okay now as you can see down at the bottom for user type you definitely want to select individual otherwise it's going to complain about wanting a federal tax ID. Uh, if you happen to run a business and you want to set an account up for your business, that's you know then you could definitely put in a, a tax ID number that way. But for most people, individual will be enough. It's near the bottom of the list. Go ahead and go next on through. Uh, fix the errors that I obviously. Okay, now on this next page, we'll go ahead and uh, create our username. Uh, I have LastPass installed, so I am just going to uh, come off screen here and randomly create a password. It is not what you might have seen on the screen. And then security questions. Okay, now at this point, uh, Pacer does have an option where you don't have to have a card on file to set up the account, but they will send you a verification code that can take a week or two to come in the mail. Um, the alternative would be creating an account, or using a credit card, which I believe they will automatically bill. Now, one thing that I might recommend if you don't want to give out your regular credit card information is we is there is a program called uh, privacy.com where you can get um, credit cards that are tied to a specific vendor the first time they're used. I use them all the time for you know, places that 
I know I'm only going to want to use one time or they seem suspect and I don't want to trust them with my regular card number. So I'm using that here just as an extra level of protection. Okay, now then after that, um, there is the uh, acknowledgement of policies and procedures. It's your standard kind of terms of service stuff. Definitely recommend going through that. Um, I have done this before, so I am familiar with it. And now this part is done. At this point, you can continue, and then if you want to, you know, look up a case, I can now you know, select do a login, and here I have my new account, no balance, and everything there. Now, at this point, we would go on to the recap project, which is free.law slash recap. You can add to Chrome. There is also a Firefox ex Fox extension, but since I'm using Chrome, it's defaulting to that. <clears throat> and it's just a single click. It would, you know, open up the Chrome web store, and then normally there would be a button here to add it, but because I already have it, it's asking if I want to remove it. And then in the future, if you have a website, or if you have a case that you're looking up in Court Listener, which is the system that Recap uses, now you can see, for instance, the Don't Shoot Portland case that is one of the ones that we're working on right now. Some of these documents are already available. It has download PDF. You can do it from Court Listener or from Internet Archive. Or you could buy a new copy on Pacer, but there's really no need to. You're just wasting money. So I can you know, click Court Listener and it'll open up the document right there in browser. Alternatively, if I go down here, there's a bunch that have not been done yet. If I click Buy on Pacer, it'll open up, ask me to log in. You can leave code blank. And then see here, it wants to, you know, it's warning me that this particular document is six pages, and it'll charge me 60 cents if I do it. If I click View Document, it'll go ahead and download. I, at this point, I have not been charged, so I can still exit and nothing will happen. But I am going to go ahead and view the document. It goes ahead and opens it. And now we have this document here. Now, if I go back, this was docket number five. If I refresh the page, it should now... Yep, see, now it says download PDF because it automatically loaded. And that's really all there is. You just have to keep track of how much you spend because you don't want to go over that $30. But other than that, feel free to set up an account. Join us. Stay strong.